Hello again, it's me, Shayna, the Balloon Lady. And today we're going to make some more of my favorite characters from Gabby's Dollhouse. You're gonna love it. Come on, let's do it. The first Gabby cat we're working on today is Murcat. Shimmering sea scales! So, we're gonna need a big balloon for her head. So nice. And loud, too. So this is the beginning of Murcat's head. Obviously, she's not gonna look like a cat until we give her kitty ears. This part, don't eat it. Ta-da! <laughs> she looks like a bunny rabbit. Okay, now we need the little purple bit. Woo! So shiny, right? Oh. Beautiful, but it wouldn't be a mer-cat without that beautiful mermaid tail she has, so let's get started on that. Snip this part off. Whoa! One more shiny purple balloon. I'll take this circle and just split it in half like that, and there we have a little fish tail. This part is extra, though. Get out of here, that part. Whoa. Let's see. It's nice that she has a tail, but we definitely need arms. Take her head. Murcat does have a little uh, starfish on one of her ears, so we've got to add that detail. She's looking so cute! but we definitely need some details. We're going to put some scales and some color on her tail. Let's see, some pink here. Like a teal green, lavender purple here. So I'm gonna cut a few scale shapes out of this plastic and stick them to her tail. Won't that be cool? Perfect. Whoop. Gort, look at this. Look at the shiny scales. I love it. Now we just need a face. Murcat has bluish eyes. Don't you just love it how kitty cats have heart shaped noses? That'll be for her tongue. Now I'm going to put a little bit of pink on the nose. That'll be the little mouth. And the last detail on Murcat's face will be her eyelashes. Are you seeing this? It's catastic! I Love how this one came out. What do you think, Murcat? Meow. Next up, we're going to be making Pillow Cat. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Was I cat napping? I'm going to get started with Pillow Cat's face. I'll be using this big pink balloon for the inside. Let's blow it up. Here are the many colors of Pillow Cat. So I'll wrap this, tie that off. Now that I've got all these colors, we need to put them on our Pillow Cat. Push that through. And yeah. I'm gonna seal this balloon off the end and attach the tail. Give it a little curl to the tail. Totally possum. And that. Yes. Now I know Pillow Cat is listening. Need dark pink balloons for the legs. Mm 
<laughs> Little legs. But we do need to draw on the face. The nose first. And these cheeks. Hello Cat's mouth is brown stitching. And there's some dark pink stitching in the cheeks. The last thing we need is the stitching that goes down the forehead. And it's going to be in kind of a wintergreen color. We do have one more detail we need to get, and that's the whiskers. And there we have it, Pillow Cat. Oh, I would love to sit and daydream with this little one. I've got some good news for you. It's panty time! Hug a tie! <laughs> <laughs> Getting started with Pandy, we're going to use that round balloon that has a little tail at the end of it. There's Pandy's head, but we definitely need some Pandy ears. The insides. This is looking great, but we are going to need a body. We're gonna do arms and legs next. All right, uh, we need feet, feet. So I'm gonna Attach this white balloon. Pandy's body! We do also need a tail, and much like the hands and legs, there's a little black tip. We should probably attach the head. Now, Pandy has an accessory that he's never without, and that is, of course, the Pandy Pack. Little bubble here, and a little bubble here, and roll that bubble under each other. There we have it. Very, very cute. Andy's got a gray circle on his tummy and on his face. So we'll start on the tummy here. Pandy's pink nose. Now Pandy's little smile. And of course, Pandy's belly button. Now we've definitely got to give Pandy his signature left ear tip. The very last detail we need on Pandy is Pandy's Pandy Paws, of course. Hi. Meow, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me while we made Pandy and Murcat and Pillow Cat. And be sure to check out all of your favorite kitties on Gabby's Dollhouse now available on Netflix. I'm Shayna, and I will see you guys next time. Check this out. Hey guys, Shayna here. And today I'll be making my favorite characters from Gabby's Dollhouse, which is the new DreamWorks animation show on Netflix. We're gonna start off with Cakey Cat, who is half kitty, half cupcake, all adorable. And first things first, I definitely need my Cakey Cat headband. Now it's time for a sprinkle party. Sprinkle party! Kiki's head is entirely made out of frosting. Delicious! What a sweetheart! For the wrapper, I'm going to use a technique called balloon weaving. It takes a bunch of really skinny little balloons and you weave them together like fabric. <laughs> Lovely. Give him some legs and arms. 
little arm. It's like a jelly bean. So cute. Let's get rid of these extra parts. Extra. Don't need it. All these parts are extra. Thread the arm through the cupcake wrapper. Yes, cakey! So adorable! But we do need ears. For the ears, I'll be using heart shaped balloons. It's a lovely little heart. Boom, 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 boom. We need to do a little bit of artwork on the face and, of course, sprinkles. Here we go, Cakey Cat, but no sprinkles yet. We definitely need sprinkles, don't we, Cakey? Sprinkle party! All right, next we're gonna make a d d DJ catnip, but I'm gonna need my DJ catnip headband. Hit it! So DJ catnip has a round face. I'm gonna use a really special balloon for that, which is this round balloon that has a little tail at the back of it. That's about the right size. Use a couple of these large dark pink balloons. There's his head! Eyeball the size here. So this is four legs and a tail. All right, I'm gonna push this bit in here. All right, this part, we don't need that. That's extra. Some scissors and... Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Coming together! Wow. Kitty cat bend in the balloon. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. DJ Catnip wears a hoodie and it's got those little strings attached, so we gotta make those. <laughs> it's coming together. I love it so much. So let's give him a face. Here he is, DJ Catnip. Oh, he looks great. Definitely looks ready to rock the party. Next up is Kitty Fairy. Now, Kitty Fairy lives in the garden, but we're gonna need to wear our Kitty Fairy headband. I love it. Kitty Fairy! We use this pastel green for her skirt. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna go with a seventh flower petal. So cute and pretty appropriate that her dress looks like a flower. Little arms, kitty fairy. It's weird because she has no head, but it's adorable anyway. Okay, skinny green balloon and a skinny white balloon for her little flower headband. Look, and now this is the little uh, three flowers. Like I have my three flowers, but this is extra. Don't need that. And this is extra. Don't need that. Ah! Lay that right on top of her head. Adorable. Yes. Yes. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. You guys. What? Okay. So she's missing a few things. She's missing a uh, little wobbly bobbles. She's missing a face. And she's missing her kitty fairy wings. So uh, let's give her her wings first. Balloon for her wings. I love this color. There we go, adorable little wings. We definitely need wobbly bobbles. This is gonna be my wobbly bobble, which is basically the same way that I made the um, DJ Catnip's pull strings. Yay, so cute. Okay, I love that we match. I love that we match. Oh my gosh, is this embarrassing? Are we wearing the same thing? Uh, but I will do Kitty Fairy's face. Kitty Fairy, the smallest 
of the kitties at Gabby's dollhouse. Looking super cutie. All right, we've made Cakey, we've made DJ Catnip, Kitty Fairy. Who am I forgetting? Oh, Gabby. <laughs> well, I'm gonna need my Gabby Kitty headband. Let's do it. Woohoo! This will be her face. Big balloon, big pump. All right, I'm gonna tie these two together. This will be her ear. Beautiful. This will be Gabby's torso, her, her shirt here. Pants, we need some blue jeans. Legs. Arms, I think arms are good on a character. Use a couple of these round balloons to be her hands. Tie the hands to the end of the arm. We don't need this part. Get out of here, that part. Whoa! Ooh. Gorgeous. It's like she's doing jumping jacks. Gabby has a lot of thick, beautiful, curly brown hair. Right now I'm going to work on Gabby's shoes. Next, this part is extra. Don't need that. Okay, it's the beginning of the shoe. Beautiful. There is shoe number one. Nice. Coming together, yay! Okay. I love that to show her off, she's got to put her arm around my shoulder. Like we're besties. I'm going to switch gears and fill in some of her beautiful hair. Oh my gosh, Gabby! We do need to put some kitty cat ears on so she can visit her friends in the dollhouse. Kitty ear! I need to give her one black ear tip and her kitty cat knee patch and the stripes on her shirt. Last step, I just need to add the cute little kitty cat knee patch she has on her jeans. Here she is, my good friend Gabby. Let's let Gabby hang with the gang. Looking good. Group photo. DreamWorks Gabby's Dollhouse. Yeah.